Hi, this is Lindy, and I want to talk to you about time. And I feel like this is almost a compilation video because we've been encouraging you to get out there and live your life. And I think we've discussed before understanding time because time is the only thing you can't get anymore. You can't get more time. You can get more money. You can get more friends. You can get more food. You can exercise more. You can sing more. You can't get more time, people. So there are so many things to consider. One is, do you really have time for a relationship? And if it's not your priority, then you really don't have time for a relationship because it has to be. You cannot do a part-time relationship. It doesn't work. Do they have time? Does your intended have the ability to give you as much time as you need? Now, that may only be three hours a week. Great. If you both want to give and get three hours, life is great. But if one of you wants 10 or 15 hours and the other wants three, so they have to fit. Next, do the schedules work? What about distance? If somebody is driving an hour, they better have that much more time in their schedule to put into the relationship. And I've been told that gets old after a while. While 45 minutes or an hour isn't a big deal during the honeymoon phase, I've been told it gets old. And then we have to consider what time is it in your life? I don't think everybody who watches these videos is in their sunset years. I'm not exactly sure when sunset years start because you have to kind of count backwards and you can't do that until someone's passed. Um, a good friend of mine, turns out he was in the sunset years. We had no idea. And so you have to consider your wants, your needs, what you can offer, and you need to consider where are you on your life's journey. And sometimes we just find ourselves ready. And I hear people in our Single Again from Devastation to Dating Facebook group who say, I am going to wait until the end of time. Well, you know, y'all might be waiting till the end of time. And others say, I am ready for a relationship, but they don't do anything about it. And we had that talk a couple weeks ago. You have to put yourself out there. So this all comes into play together. Y'all can't see it, but I'm talking with my hands over here. This all comes into play together. How important is the relationship? How much time are you willing to give it? There's the communication and communication takes a lot of effort and a lot of time. So if the, they want, I started to say she, but I'm changing it to they want the good morning text, which guys, I'm telling you, girls love the good morning text. Um, we don't want you to be copying and pasting it to seven different females though. Um, but that does take effort and time. And I know that there have been couples in my life who the one person wanted the, the lunchtime phone call. And the other person was like, I work during lunch. I'm too busy. I, I can't do that. So you need to figure out how much time and when the time will work. You need to figure out what you want at this point in your life. Are you looking for diversion or are you looking for commitment? And then once you know and you can offer a great package or you can choose to absent yourself from the dating world because you're not ready. No wrong answer. Just know who you are and what you want and then go spend your time to the best possible way you can in the best possible way you can because you're not going to get any more and today once gone is lost forever so if there's somebody you need to talk to send the text now go on messenger make a phone call whatever it takes or get off messenger close the dating apps because you're not ready i'm lindy find the time to have a great day